Hi friends, welcome you in my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Muhammad Sirajul Akfazi, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, LS College, Muzaffarpur. Today in this video, I am going to talk about the structure of these sino compounds. So, I will show you how benzene ring actually planar in nature what is the meaning of bond length what is the meaning of bond angles and what is the meaning of dihedral angles so look at this molecules so this molecules contains two benzene ring this and this so if you want to calculate interplanar angles so first you have to select these six carbons and then put the plane and this is the plane and this plane contains carbon 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now we have the another benzene ring again go to select and another plane with different colors so i am putting this time blue so okay then we have the another plane on this ring the carbon contents c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 and c7 now i am going to measure the angles between these two benzene rings and we call it dihedral angles so going to measures this is 25.76 degree so friends if you want to measure the interplanar angles or this is dihedral angles then you can first select one plane of benzene ring another and then you calculate the angles you will find the interplanar angles so friends again the bond length just how you calculate the bond length you see here this carbon and this carbon oxygen so what is the distance so first you select this one you see 1.350 and this is the distance between carbon and oxygen if you calculate any bond angle just this carbon and this carbon you see 1.387 this carbon and this carbon 1.381 this carbon and this carbon you see almost today. but this carbon and this carbon is 1.438 it indicating this is in single natures and if you see this one and this one 1.5 complete singles here means this bond is little bit have pi character but this bond is sigma characters now look at this cyanide 1.436 so and again if you want to see the carbon nitrogen bonds this one is 1.279 so you have already read the carbon carbon bond distance is uh, larger than carbon nitrogen bond due to electronegativity and you see here this carbon oxygen this is the single bond now you can see this this bond length 1.1 it is very short bond means uh, this is the carbon nitrogen bond this is also carbon nitrogen bond but this is very short and this is little bit large so what is the meaning here why it is 1.138 and why it is 1.279 so we say this is the carbon triple bond nitrogen and we say this carbon double bond nitrogen and the, we can see here 1.35 single bond oxygen okay this is about the uh, bonds now uh, i am going to collect the angles so what is the meaning of angles so you see these atom three atoms you just click 
then you will get the these angles angles between this carbon this nitrogen and this uh, carbon so it is 1 to 1.57 degree and your bond length is always in angstrom now you see this carbon in this carbon this one do you see bond angle 179 if you look at these bond angles you see 119 if you see these bond angles you see 180 any bond angles you can calculate you see 122 these bond angles you can see 121 and so on so you can calculate the bond angles also uh, with the help of this now you can uh, calculate the dihedral angles or torsion angles so if you uh, look at the torsion angles uh, so you see in torsion angle four atoms involves you see 1 2 3 and 4 then automatically this value will come you see minus 178.76 this is the torsion angles so and uh, this is the importance uh, about the this carbon this carbon this nitrogen and this carbon so this is the torsion angles again another important point we have to discuss about any molecules this is so you see this is the your methyl group ch3 and this is your benzene ring so this hydrogen is transferred with the methyl groups and this hydrogen is transferred with the oh groups now you have heard this angles you see this is not planar there is angle because you know this is the tetrahedral uh, and oxygen contains two lone pair of electrons so it not be like that yeah. and this hydrogens and this nitrogens making the bonds and that is the hydrogen bonds between the oh we call this oh this is the donor and this is the acceptor oh bond is donor and nitrogen is acceptor another important uh, thing regarding this this molecules contains another type of superficial uh, interactions so if you look at here you see this molecules attach with another this is ch2 molecules so this is the donor and this is the acceptors again look at here now here this ch donor and this is the acceptors and so on a lot of others you see this carbon a hydrogen bond again attach with this and here you see this is the donor and this is the acceptors so this is the already donor and this is the acceptor so you can see the packing of your compounds uh, in unit cell so it will look like that so in unit cell you know the in crystals um, solid state in 10 plus 2 there is a seven crystal system orthorhombic monoclinic and triclinic a lot so on the basis of that we have seven crystals and then this is the packing and this abc on the basis of abcd and angles alpha beta gamma we are giving information about the which type of system you see along a axis molecules look like that along b axis molecules look like that and along c axis molecules look like that so friends hope this video will be helpful to you if you like this video then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching